What's up, Pirate Nation, and welcome to another edition of Hoist the Colors on your Campus 31 television network. On today's show, we'll recap last Saturday's game between the Pirates and the Golden Eagles of Southern Miss and get you ready to go for this weekend's tilt at UTEP. But first, let's go to the highlights from last Saturday. It was Military Appreciation Night at Dowdy Ficklin Stadium as East Carolina welcomed the 24th ranked Southern Miss Golden Eagles to town for a late afternoon kickoff. With star wide receiver Lance Lewis sidelined for the Pirates due to injury, insert sophomore receiver Reese Wiggins. And in the first minute of the game, it's Wiggins receiving a screen pass and streaking down the sideline for a 72-yard score to put the Pirates up 7-0. Then following a Southern Miss 3 and out, ECU was on the move again and on the verge of going up two scores when a Dominique Davis pass caroms off Joe Womack's hands and into the hands of Southern Miss's Jamie Collins who's running back the other way with blockers in front of him, and 97 yards later, he ties the game at 7-all. Things didn't get any better on the ensuing drive as the Pirates were forced to punt, and they did so to Tracy Lampley, who finds a seam and takes it back 60 yards to put the Golden Eagles ahead 14-7. On their next drive, the Pirates were in yet another punting situation, and wouldn't you know it, it's blocked by the Golden Eagles, and ran in for a score by Emmanuel Johnson to make it 21-7. All 21 unanswered points by the road team were scored without Austin Davis and the Southern Miss offense touching the field, and it had head coach Ruffin McNeil and the 50,000-plus in the stands stunned. Early in the second quarter, that Southern Miss offense finally got it going when tailback Jamal Woodyard catches a pass and goes up high into the end zone to extend the Golden Eagle lead to 28-7. On the following ECU possession, the Pirates went to work hoping to get back into the game, and they did just that when Dominique Davis ran it in from three yards out, cutting the Golden Eagle lead to 28-14. After Southern Miss tacked on a field goal to extend their lead to 17, the Pirates drove into enemy territory yet again when Dominique Davis has his pass picked off by Darren Wilson, and he runs it back 79 yards for yet another defensive touchdown. The score at halftime was Southern Miss 38, ECU 14. The Pirates came into the second half rejuvenated. In the opening minutes of the third quarter, the Purple Shirts drove into the red zone, and on a fourth and one play inside the five-yard line, Dominique Davis finds Justin Hardy for the touch to cut the lead back to 17 at 38-21. Then after the ECU defense generated a stop, the offense had an opportunity to make it a two-possession game, but the drive stalled when Dominique Davis was brought down, and the Pirates turned it over on downs. This turned out to be a backbreaker as Southern Miss went on to win this football game 48-28. The win elevated Southern Miss into sole possession of first place in the Conference USA East Division while the Pirates dropped to 4-5 on the season going into this week's action at UTEP. The UTEP Miners are also 4-5 on the season coming off a 41-37 loss at Rice under head coach Mike Price. The Miners are led by junior transfer quarterback Nick Lamison along with dangerous weapon at wide receiver and speedster Mike Edwards. With both teams being very evenly matched, there was a good chance the game could come down to special teams. The Pirates have been struggling in this department in recent weeks, while the Miners are ranked near the top in the nation in this department. It is definitely shaping up to be a great game, and no matter what happens, we'll be here to keep you up to date on all things Pirate football. So from all of us here at Campus 31, I'm Josh Graham, and you've just watched Hoist the Colors.